Chapter 2. For you, darling. I'm so happy for you. Mrs. Hayabusa's dark eyes glowed with warmth. She returned her son's enthusiastic hug and realized once again that she had to stand on tiptoe. Her boy had grown so much. Ryu tore himself away. I don't believe it. No. I don't believe it. I don't want to. I, I don't know what to believe. Oh, this is incredible. He let out a whoop of joy and leapt into the air. Mrs. Hayabusa laughed. <laughs> I've never felt like this for the first time since coming home. Okay. <clears throat> for the first time since coming home, he set down the small box he had been carrying. Opening it delicately, he pulled out the only item of clothing he had ever cared about, his black belt. Oh, yeah. He tried it on and felt power surging through him. How does it look, Mom? Mrs. Hayabusa looked deeply into her son's eyes. Beautiful, Ryu, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. Just beautiful. Ryu nodded. His joy had overwhelmed him. He had hardly been able to see straight. But his mother's eyes brought him back to her. There was sadness behind them, and Ryu knew why. It's time, I guess, huh? He said. Ryu could tell his mother was trying to look, to not look too upset. She held her head high and smiled. My dear son, she said. I know your fate was determined for you many, many years ago. You began your training when you were still in diapers. I have watched and seen you progress, shed your joy, and I know that all of this was in preparation for this day. But somehow... Her voice broke. <laughs> Ryu rushed to her side and put his arm around her. She let him stay there for a moment taking comfort silently. Then she gently took his arm away and walked across the living room. The delicate straw tatami mat rustled under her footsteps. She stopped at the oaken chest and choked back a sob. <laughs> Pulling open the top drawer, she took out a sealed envelope. Holding it in her trembling fingers, she turned her face to her son. When your father left Tokyo for America, he was a young man, she began. He was so proud of his newborn baby for me, yeah. He couldn't wait to come home from his expedition. And neither could I. I remember his parting. <clears throat> I remember his parting words exactly. I give you this, my dearest Sammy, with a reluctant heart. I know I will be seeing you within two weeks, but in the unlikely event that I should not return, save this letter, this Gaiden, until Ryu has become a man. On that day, you must give it to him and, with, and wish him success with all your heart. Ryu nodded. He had heard this story as a little boy and never forgotten it. I was startled, Mrs. Hayabusa continued. But your father comforted me and assured me we would come home and I would be, and I believed him. She lowered her eyes. Never did I think I would have to give this to you, Ryu. A tear rolled down her cheek as she handed her son the envelope. Ryu took it. He felt icy cold numb. He was torn between the urge to comfort his mother 
and the call, the destiny that had driven him every day of his life. The envelope was yellowed with age. He shuddered when he saw the words written in on it for him. Renew upon this passage to manhood. Um, his father's faded handwriting was an eerie a reminder of the man he had never met, the man whose disappearance he still did not understand. Well, that's the end of chapter two. No game hints this time. Just gotta get back to it now. Gotta get back to it. Yeah.